<clears throat> okay, this is the nice pretty street that I live on. It's very nice. Lovely little hidden away cul-de-sac. I'm now walking to work. I've just decided that we'll do a little vlog on the way. Never done that before. So as I'm walking down to work, we've had lots of questions about um, you know, who's coming back next year, what have we got planned for next year, um, what, um, for instance, we're doing on the last week and why we're only doing it for one week and not two weeks. So I'm going to answer all them questions now if I can. So first, the first one I'll deal with is why we are not doing it for two weeks this year because last year the main, the main half um, term was on the week before the end and because it was the last week of the season we wanted to do a last week of the season party anyway so so that's why that happened and um, this this year it's not it's on the it's on the very last week the main one for now let's have a look yeah so it's so there isn't a, a knock-on effect from that because the main one is and and as suspected on looking at the bookings there's hardly anybody booked on the week before so, yeah, as yet there might end up being more people but there hasn't as at the moment so that's why we're doing that if we get loads more people coming down i said we should do some extra just fancy dress nights or something just to make it feel a bit better for people on the second to last week but it got to the point where people were saying, well, what about the first week of October anyway? Well, that means the well, last week of September, everybody will just keep going on. So it is, it is, it is only meant to be an end of season um, sort of party. Now going down the new flood path, which joins from the back side of my streets to, to here. And actually, where it is, it's Sainsbury's, you can see, is just over there. So if any of you ever fancy it, if you've got mobility scooters, or if you have, um, or you just fancy a nice walk instead of just getting in the car, or you wanted to go to Sainsbury's or whatever, um, it's a brilliant path, and this path comes all the way out, all the way to uh, right to the crossroad from our park. It's amazing. That's a pretty little thing as well. When we get down further on here, there's a little floodplain that goes down the side. It's awesome. Right, okay, it's like, so what have we got planned for 2020 is the main question I get asked a lot. And who's the team who's coming back? Now, if you're on Mark Price Welcome page, you're already watching this probably. And um, you'll see that we're going to release team members as we sign them up and get them signed up properly. Some of them will be later. And some of them, I'm afraid, we won't be able to complete the team until after the season starts. It's no secret that we're looking for a boy anyway, so that's, uh, that's a given. So we're still looking for a boy for this year. <laughs> Um, we've managed, we're managing without a boy because the fact is we did win Sam I had to leave at the beginning so the guys have already rehearsed him without a team member it's harder covering for people but the guys have already done that and so plans for next year well we have 100% it's my 30th year anniversary so we've got to pay homage to that and there's loads of people asking me for some of the old sketches and stuff like that so what I decided to do rather than blanket the whole program with old material we're not going to do that at all we will do a lot of new shows again so that's for our regulars a lot but to pay homage to that we're going to do one night and on that one night I've decided that we're going to even have or get as close to it as we can we're going to have made the uniform that I very first wore when we were there in 1990 and that will be more like a cruise ship thing with the dark blue and the white shirts and gold ties and stripes on the on the, on the thing and white trousers white shoes and for one night we're going to pay homage to it with my my um going back over the 30 years sort of thing is what we're going to do that's going to be a big multimedia show showing all past team members and present team members obviously will join in the idea is to have some of the old material on a screen and then morph it so that it changes into a modern version of that old routine with my modern team doing it. So it should be quite exciting. Hard to do, mind. This path, by the way, let's have a little look here. See, it's actually quite pretty. It's a lovely little walk. In case you ever fancy just a little stroll out. It's really nice. A little rest points. Just around here at the moment because I've just had a little run before I started filming this bit, as you can probably hear my uh, voice and trust me at my age it's getting fit like 
If you ain't healthy, it's not good for you. So it's a nice little path here. So on that on that note, saying about uh, thirties. Oh, hang on, there you go. I had to flick the screen around so I could see I was filming me. So the idea for that is um, it'll be modern versions of some of the old classics and things what we get overwhelmingly asked for. Things like. Uh, Starlet Express, the one on the skates, uh, we get asked for, so we're going to do that. But of course we're going to ramp it with brilliant suits with lights and, and, and all sort of stuff like that. We've been asked to do um, Andy Pandy, the original Andy Pandy for ages that me and Terry used to do. So that that is being brought back. Um, we'll probably modernise the track a little, but probably do that old classic version. Um, Mr Cup of Tea Man. Uh, which a lot of you associate Mr. Cup of Tea Man with the what, we, what is called the conductor sketch so that will probably come back in and all the people who were disappointed this year that we didn't do Cobblestone Manor Part 2 is because I decided that that would fit perfectly into the culmination of my 30th year anniversary for the comedy side of it anyway plus all the usual big numbers and stuff that you would expect so uh, that's one definitely not to be missed and um, if you keep watching, we're literally going to do a little teaser trailer of one of the first, to tell you the first of the brand new shows that we're doing. And we're going to release a lot more as we go along. Oh look, this is a lovely part again. Isn't it nice here? Lovely little place. So, um, so keep watching. I know this is a daft, unusual blog, but people are asking me the questions and everything else. And also, don't forget, we're promoting a new channel, of course, which is Mr. Poodlebum channel. Now, it doesn't matter if, if you watch it or not, if it's just for your family members or for the kids especially. If you don't, it, we, we appreciate all of your support and sharing it with other families that can't get down to the welcome to try and share that Mr. Poodlebum experience for, for the kids. And we're going to put bring puppets into it and Muppets and new characters, and that's on YouTube channel, okay? So the, it's important that there's loads of people watching it, thousands of people watching it, but um, it, important to get it off, off the ground and keep it going, we need people to press the subscribe button. And it's completely free to so press the subscribe button on the Mr. Boodlebub YouTube channel, and um, I think that channel will grow very well then. Okay, signing off. Bye. Nice little walk. So, oh, biggest problems we have today, we have got this desk, the main lighting controller desk has gone and you can't buy new ones of these anymore so unless you can find some old stock somewhere I can't or the equivalent one of it, it's been going bit by bit and down, channels have been dropping off and now it won't recognise half of these so what that means in layman's terms is we have no front lights whatsoever at the moment for the show tonight. So we're going to have to do some adapting, some description to try and see if we can sort this out. I spent 14 hours on it the other day and I've spent quite a lot of time on it with another with a friend of mine. company is? <laughs> Certainly I can do that, yeah. Okay. I am Glenn Tout of GT Electronics. Um, yeah, I can it's... repair, well there we are, yeah there we are. It's real. Yeah. Uh, I can repair anything electronic, uh, anything electrical at all. Anything with a circuit ball, bring it to me and fix it. <laughs> and today, <laughs> punishment. It was like a, today. Today it was yeah. a 15, 20 year old desk which he had, which had the same. Is it? What's that CPU well, in it? What was uh, it? I'll show you actually. I'll, I'll dig it out over here if you want. It's an even older desk for parts. than mine. And for parts, he had one, and this was Unfortunately, it. Unfortunately, yeah, this little pin here, if you Look can see that. it, that caused absolute chaos. That in the tiniest crop. of pins was causing me all the hassle in the world. And now hopefully the other one will hold out, Glenn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it won't be another 20 years or so. No, well, it only has to last, me, it only has to last for another, uh, another um, basically, nine weeks and then we're getting a brand new desk.